So you're Zane's brother? Don't take this too personally, hun. But you're not exactly what I was expecting. I mean, just look at him. I guess the hottie gene skipped you. Oh boy, everybody. Today's gonna be a fun episode because I get to talk about Missy. Missy is a really funny character that showed up in one episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX that really, really liked Zane and wanted to put Zane's brother in his place because she thought Zane would like him if he did that, if, if she did that, which is really backwards logic. But let's, let's somehow get past that and start talking about Missy herself. She is an interesting insect deck user that wanted to get closer to Zane and was a challenge for Cyrus because Cyrus wanted to enter the raw yellow dorm. And in order to do that, he needed to defeat an opponent. And the opponent given to him was an obelisk blue student in the form of Missy. And Missy was like, oh hell yeah, I get to beat up my favorite person's little brother? That'll make him like me. And that's where we, and here we are. <laughs> and here we are, everybody. And the episode is actually kind of funny and I like where it goes. Overall, it's it was a fun little nod to watch an insect deck again. I miss Weevil Underwood. He's a really fun character. And I like insect cards, so seeing an insect deck made me happy. And now we get to talk about one again. When this deck looks a lot like Weevil's decks from Duelist Kingdom and Battle City combined. Which makes me really excited, because guess what? This lady, she's got herself Empress Mantis, which is given by me. I don't think she actually has this. Um, Insect Princess, which is her boss monster. This monster is super effective because what it does is it forces your opponent into attack mode if they are insects. Hello, DNA Surgery. And then, you know, you get to chomp on them and you do some damage. It's really good. Um, she's got Pinch Hopper for special summons. She's got Skullmark Ladybug for some stall. She's got Prickle Fairy for definite stall. This card's really good, especially with DNA Surgery with DNA Surgery. She's got Howling Insect for stall, which is really good, and another gift from me, Anti-Aircraft Flower, which what it does is it gives her an ability to tribute insect monsters for 800 points of damage. And it's not once per turn, so you could just tribute all your insects for a total of 3,200 damage. Um, she also has Multiplication of Ants, which works really well with Anti-Aircraft Flower. Um, this is to Special Summon 2 Insect Tokens. Uh, she's got Forest, so a gift from me, just so she has some buff. She has Insect Armor. Uh, insect can laser or cannon armor just because reminds me she reminds me of weevil and she deserves it um and she has some basic traps to help her out overall i think we should go into her stats because she's a very interesting character that i believe is going to have some interesting stats so let's check it out um looking at these she definitely has some interesting stats because she's a zigzagger as in she goes in very different areas for her best potentials um but she has some very low potentials in other areas being her attack stat. Her attack stat is below average, 100%. It's below average. And the reason it's below average is because her best monster has 2200 and her best possible monster has 1900 but increases at 500 intervals with each insect monster she devours. Um still not a great uh not a great deck when it comes to attack. Flying Chemicuria 15 is sadly one of her better beaters and the rest of her deck is sucky when it comes to attack stat. So, thankfully, her monster has the potential to get stronger. She has this equip spell. She has forest. She does have some cards to help out her attack stat. Overall, she is a very below average attack stat. She's just like, eh, barely on the second gray line. Not good. Not good, guys. But then we can move on to her speed stat, which is good. This one is just under the average, but it's still good. The average is kind of really skewed in this series because there are so many fast characters that it made it so you need to be really fast just to have a fast deck. Just to be considered a fast deck, because her deck isn't slow. She's got Pin Choppers. She's got Howling Insects. You know, that's pretty fast. Um, she's got Multiplication of Ants. That's fast. And in different seasons, this would have been, or different series, this would have been a very fast deck. In this series, it's below average, but it's still not bad. It's usable. Um, when it comes to skill, she actually does have skill because this is stall. It heals. And biggest stall she has is Prickle Fairy. Prickle Fairy is an interesting card. When your opponent, uh, your opponent cannot attack insect monsters. When comboed with insect, uh, uh, with DNA surgery, you can make Prickle Fairy an insect monster. Therefore, your opponent cannot attack at all. I'm not even joking. She Prickle Fairy with DNA surgery is a living insect barrier. A living insect barrier with 2,000 defense. I, I I must say, so she is actually a really good card. 
and honestly is really well used by Missy. So there you go. There she, there's her stall strat. She actually can 100% win a duel through stall. She can win a duel through deck out. Of course, she needs to make sure she protects her DNA surgeries, which she can't really do. And she can't let her monsters get popped, but she has multiple, so that's not too bad. Overall, though, her deck skill is uh, usable for winning a duel, but not guaranteed. Her other skill would be Anti-Aircraft Flower, which can be used to win the duel by burn, which is totally doable if you have Purple Fairy to stall. Anti-Aircraft Flower just picks off one of these monsters one at a time, and you eventually win the duel. It's actually super doable. Um, you'd have to eat 10 monsters for it to work, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's plenty of monsters. She has, what, 24 monsters? She has 24 monsters. She can do it. You only need to eat 10. And then you win the duel. So she can win through burn. She can win through stalls. She can win through many options. She's got skill in this deck. Her attack is going to be a little rough to win with, but she could do it. Uh, moving on to her defense stat. That's where Missy's getting a little more interesting. Missy um, is pretty tanky. Like overall, not too bad. Like so most, some of these monsters are not tanky. Like Empress Mantis, no. Flying Kamikiri, no. Insect Princess, no. Pin Chopper, not terrible, but not great. Skullwater, Mark Ladybug, usable. Prickle Fairy, really, really good. 2000's really good. Anti-Aircraft Flower 16 is doable. That's actually pretty doable. So it's not too bad. And because Forest can also buff defense, and this card also buffs uh, defense, not bad. She's actually not that bad when it comes to defense. I would say she's about the average of this season. So overall, not too bad. Luck-based cards, none. She's not luck. She doesn't use luck. That's not what Missy's about. But overall, when it comes to her brick stat, that's where things get a little interesting. She does have six tribute monsters, and that can be a little problematic, but she has so much special summons, so much search potential, and pinch hopper kind of negates the ability of um, of these cards being a tribute because you could just special summon them through pinch hopper that she's actually not a bricky deck at all. The reason her brick stat is almost maxed out means that she's not bricky at all. She's actually a pretty effective deck. You will may most likely draw a card you can use in this deck. You draw Forest, you could use it. You draw in Multiplication Advance, you'll probably be able to use it. Um, the only real brick card I see in here is the Tribute Monsters. And that's only if they don't get the little helpers in here. So overall, almost unbrickable. Really good deck in those terms. Mi Missy is an interesting character. She fought really hard against Cyrus Truesdale, but she was blinded by the fact that he was younger, uh, well, younger looking and not as handsome, um, and was just, you know, not, not treating him with the proper respect. Cyrus was actually a pretty good duelist up to this point. He started out really weak in Season 1. Season 2 is where he started to step up his game, and that's why he wanted to move to Raw Yellow. And that's also why he was like, hey, Missy, bring it. And Missy was like, uh, okay... <laughs> and then this is what happens. She shows you, she shows off this interesting deck. If you are an insect lover out there, I'm sure that you could make this deck work. Overall, this deck, I would say, is so close to being tournament viable. I mean, obviously, it's going to be in the tournament, but I think, honestly, it doesn't have a chance of winning the tournament. I think it can win a, quite a few duels. It can maybe even go to top eight. But I don't think it can win the tournament. Therefore, I'm going to have to give Missy a potential of two stars. It's not what I want to do. Missy's an interesting character. But I'm going to have to give her a potential of two stars. I think that she stands a chance at winning duels. I think anybody using this insect deck would have a lot of fun. I don't think she can win the tournament. Overall, though... If you're enjoying this, I would love to see uh, some likes and subscribes. I would love to hear you in my Discord chat. Obviously, if you want to follow us on Discord and download Yugo Omega, you'll be able to join us for the subscriber tournament when all these deck profiles are through. Um, Missy is going to be an interesting fighter because I personally love Insect Princess. I've used her in many decks, um, but I don't know how effective she's going to be in this tournament. Probably not so much. So... If you like a deck that uh, doesn't brick very often, is pretty skillful, and is decently fast, go with Missy. But overall, she's going to be kind of bricky. I, I mean, not bricky, sorry. She's going to be kind of crappy because she just doesn't have enough attack. She does have enough defense, though. So if you want to stall, go for it. If you don't want to run a stall deck, don't pick Missy. At the end of the day, though, that's going to be it. See you all next time. Bye bye